Hey everybody, this is Eric from ASUS, and in this video we're going to look at the user interface for the ASUS Cube with Google TV. It's got a ton of features you can use to watch your internet TV, listen to music, browse the web, and even download Android apps. So let's dive right in. As you can see here, the user interface represents a cube. You can move up and down to change the different categories from TVs and movies to games to favorites and so many more. Let's start with the TV and movie category. You can access the category simply by pressing over to the right. You've got Motor Trend, Flixster, and Netflix. Let's just try jumping into Netflix. All right, now that we're in the Netflix app, you can navigate through just like you would with your tablet or your smartphone. Uh, it's got all your standard categories, popular, you know, what's recommended for you. Uh, first one I see here is Arrested Development, it's a great TV show. All the interface should be very similar to what you used to if you have a Netflix account. Once this light loads up, you're good to go. You can see it in full 1080p. So let's say you don't have a Netflix subscription. There's a ton of free content that you can still watch if you don't shell out the money. For example, if I go back to the home screen, go back to TVs and movies, you can go to Revision 3. If you're familiar with Revision 3, there's a lot of content on here that you can check out. Just check out the latest episodes. Head over here to Batman vs. Iron Man. Check out what's going on there. Now let's move on to one of the more notable features of the ASUS Cube with Google TV. If you're familiar with Android at all, you're familiar with the Play Store. And with Google TV, you've got all the same capabilities. We've got apps, music, movies, and TV. Uh, those are the three categories there. And then over to the right, you've got some suggested content by Google all the way down. Let's go and install Pandora. Should be fairly easy. These free apps, all you do is accept and download. Go back here. We can actually continue shopping if we like. So now that it's installed, it's telling us that we can set it to a category. And I would like to do that. Let's go to music. Put Pandora in music. And then we go back to the home screen. We could go find it under music. So now for the music category, we can go into it. See our Pandora listed right there. Let's go over there, do quick mix. And as you can tell, the music is coming right out of your TV. All right, the next category I want to go through is the social and life category. So over here you can see we have a few preloaded apps. We've got this one Spotlight, Memo, which is a note-taking app. We've got ASUS Web Storage, and we've got Video Manager. First one I want to focus on is ASUS Web Storage. The great thing about this app is that because you bought the ASUS Cube with Google TV, you get 50 free gigabytes of space where you can upload photos, videos, whatever you want and access it straight through the cube. The other app that I wanted to take a look at is our Spotlight app. The Spotlight app is great because it will take you to all the uh, TV optimized websites. So we've got our featured list here or you've got these different categories up here. TV, movies, videos, music, news, lifestyle, games. So if we go, if you've got an Amazon Instant Video account or Amazon Prime account, you can go watch their Amazon Instant. Uh, we've got Crackle, which there's a ton of free movies on. If you've got HBO, HBO Go is a great little app. And Funny or Die and Vimeo. Let's go into Funny or Die. So all these apps were created uh, specifically for Google TV. Makes for easy navigation with the remote. 
You can go in, see any of the categories. All right, we've covered uh, three categories already, and one other thing I wanted to touch on was widgets. Cool thing about this is that you can add widgets to your home screen. Click on the information button, or the options button, sorry, and go here to customize home widgets. Click on the red button, and you can add a widget. So we'll add our music player widget, and I could actually go and select this here and select move and I can move it to the opposite side. When I'm done, click done, it's there. Say I wanted to add one more. We can add, say, the clock. And now I'm done. So this is what it looks like once you have those widgets attached. So that's about it for our overview of the user interface for the ASUS Cube with Google TV. The great thing about Android is that it is ever expandable, so that means there's more great things to come for the Google TV platform. As always, please like and subscribe, and we'll talk to you next time.